pain and difficult emotions and depression and anxiety, they all come hand in hand. I think for me, my health, mental health, that was the hardest part for me, admitting that I needed help. Being in pain since I was 14 years old, every day for my necks and my toes, it takes it out on your body, physically and emotionally. You know, when I can't go and see my friends or when I'm in too much pain to actually enjoy what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm in that much pain, I don't even know what people are talking about. It's I'm hearing them, but it's not going in. And that was very difficult for me to deal with. And I actually had to go and see a psychiatrist for this. I got told that it's your body doing too much. Your body's trying to take care of itself and mend itself and cope with the pain that you're, co- that you're dealing with. And it can't do too many things at once. And it's actually called detachment disorder. I can be there with you. It doesn't mean that I'm completely understanding. And that's another thing that I found hard having to admit to my friends that I listened, don't know what you're talking about though. And that's hard as well. You forget things which brings on depression, you know, anxiety, you stress about going places, because what if I get in too much pain that I physically can't do anything? I've been out with my friends on a night out, even though I sat down all night and I was looked after by my friends, my friend had to carry me home and get in a taxi and take me home because I physically couldn't walk anymore or sit there anymore. I literally couldn't even sit down. I was in that much pain. And it's things like that. And it's, it is that being that different person, you know, when your friends are, they've all got good jobs and they've all got nice houses and money and everything else. And I still feel like I don't have that. You know, I can't work. I volunteer to keep me going and to give me something to strive for. But I can't go and make myself a wage and actually get my house and do this and do that like the rest of my friends do. And that's hard to see as well, which is difficult. Also, because of my pain, I can't carry children. And when you see your friends and your family and your cousins and other relatives all having children, that again takes it out on your difficult emotions because even though to your friends you may seem just Lisa or just whoever it's not it's not that you what you do feel different you know when we go anywhere with friends and family I have to plan where I can park if I can get a seat if I can do this if I can get somewhere kind of get home in time if I'm starting to feel fatigued tired extra sore you know I go from being in a lot of pain to being in extreme pain in a blink of an eye and when your mates have to carry you around that's hard but I've got the bestest friends and the bestest family and we cope by returning into a job you know they never judge me for not having a job they know Lisa you physically couldn't go out to work every day and hearing that of friends and family who understand is just amazing but it's the strangers again they can't see your pain they can't see your difficult emotion they can't see your anxiety and they don't understand like well you look fine to me go go to work make a living it's not as easy as that and there's a lot of stigma in not working i think now that i volunteer it's kind of took it away a little bit because people say, oh, you volunteer for the NHS, that's amazing. And that stigma has changed because I'm doing something. But when I was at home feeling really poorly and stuff like, stuff like that and I couldn't cope, people would just look at me and go, but you do nothing all day. And they don't realise that getting out of bed is something to me. Getting a bath, having a shower changing my clothes or pyjamas into something clean. That's me doing something that day. Going up the stairs to go to the toilet. That's me doing something. You know, I'm lucky that I've got a very understanding family and friends, but some people don't have that. Or some people hide it because they don't want the stigma 
or they don't want to be treated differently. I'm very lucky that I don't get treated differently of the people that know me. It's the people that don't know me. And I've kind of had to get used to that and let it just not bother me. It's hard. It plays on the emotions. I'd love to have my own house, my own job, my own car. You know, I'm so lucky in that I'm so looked after. But a lot of people are not that lucky.